Okay, the machine we're going to talk about today is a Mills Vest Pocket, and it doesn't even look like a slot machine. This is probably the world's smallest slot machine. It was made by Mills. They started making them in the late 30s, uh, I believe around 1938, and they continued production into the early 50s. Um, I've been told that there were about 50,000 of these guys made, so they're not super rare machines, but uh, the whole point with the vest pocket was to make the machine light and portable and easy to conceal. And in fact, if you look at the machine, obviously it doesn't even look like a slot machine. This looks like a square box with a coin acceptor in it. And you don't even, even see the reels. When in fact the reels are hidden behind this little plate here. And you flip the plate over and it shows the reels. And then on the other side of the plate has the payoff. When you hit a winner, the coins come out here in the, uh, the coin box. And the way you play it, it's very simple. You just put the nickel in the fly, in the coin acceptor. You push it forward, and then you pull it back out. When you pull it out, the reel spin, and if you hit a winner, the money comes out of the coin acceptor. Um, like I said before, these machines are not extremely rare. They show up at all the coin op shows. They show up on auction sites fairly regularly. But one thing you want to be careful of when you buy one is to make sure that this coin acceptor is not bent. Because I don't think they make any kind of replacement for them. And a common way to, that these guys get bent is by pick up, people picking up the machine by the coin acceptor, which is a, a definite no-no. So. Um, that's the, uh, the story of the Mills Vest Pocket, and we'll uh, take a few closer videos, and then we'll also pull the mechanism out to give you an idea of what the actual mechanism looks like. Okay, we're going to take some close-ups of the, of the machine itself to give you an idea of what it looks like. There's the miniature reels. There's the payoff card. And when the card is over, there's no clue that this thing is actually a slot machine. And the payout, the coins when you win, fall into that little compartment there. We'll go ahead and play it one more time. Okay, here's a picture of the machine with the back door off, and here's the mechanism and the entire mechanism can be removed just by pulling this, this guy out. You have to be careful of the coin acceptor when you're pulling it out. This particular machine is not even my machine. It uh, was brought in by a collector who needed some repairs on half a dozen or so machines. And I thought, well, as long as I had one would be a good opportunity to take some pictures of it. So here's the, uh, the mech. Here's your cash box. And if you want to see it in operation, put a nickel in. And we can actually force a winner. Stop the clock. First reel stopped on a bell, so we'll line up three bells. And we hit a winner. 
the, uh, the payout detection device, which figures out if you hit a winner or not, is this, there's a little pin that goes in right there, and if it, the distance that it travels dictates how many coins will be paid out. So there's the mechanism, and I'll take some closer photos up that, uh, for you. It's very, uh, very intriguing little mechanism, actually. So here's the mechanism up close. That's it.